here in this video we will see a problem on calculation of change in length and change in diameter for that we have a question here whatever is given i'll write that in the form of data first by reading the question so let us get started a steel rod 4 meter long length is given 4 meter so it is 4000 mm and 20 mm in diameter diameter d now once diameter is given i can calculate area in the data itself so area will be pi by 4 into diameter square which is 20 square so my answer is 314.16 mm square next is subjected to an actual tensile load of 45 kilo newton tensile load is p that is 45 kilo newton so it is 45 into 10 raised to 3 newton next find the change in length and change in diameter of the rod so change in length is delta l and change in diameter take value of e suffix s that is young's modulus for steel 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square and mu is 0.25 so this is the question which we have now we will try to find the solution as the first question is change in length we are going to start the problem from here and while explaining that i'll even draw a diagram of the steel rod which is given here is the steel rod which is subjected to an actual tensile load as given in the problem so here we have load p acting along the axis and it is tensile now because of the action of this tensile load length will increase diameter will decrease so the rod will look something like this that is decrease in uh, increase in length and decrease in diameter so now after this i'll say that since the change in length or deflection is given by delta l is equal to pl upon ae this is the formula So therefore delta L will be equal to P the value of load is given in the problem as 45 into 10 raised to 3 length of the rod is given that is 4000 mm area we have found out 314.16 and capital E Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5. So from this I will get the value of deflection which comes out to be 2.86 mm. This is the first answer. The next thing they are saying to calculate the change in diameter. Now this becomes lateral dimension. How? Because load is parallel to the length. So when load is parallel to length, length will increase that becomes linear dimension and load is perpendicular to the diameter. So diameter becomes the lateral dimension. So here we have to find out how much is this change in diameter. So for that we would be using the concept of lateral strain. And here I will find lateral strain in this way that since Poisson's ratio. mu is equal to lateral strain e suffix l upon linear strain which is e so therefore lateral strain will be mu into linear strain mu value is given as 0 0.25 Linear strain is change in length upon original length. 
so therefore lateral strain becomes 0 0.25 into linear strain we have found out the deflection here 2.86 upon the original length is 4000 so from this I'll get the value of lateral strain and this lateral strain comes out to be 1.787 into 10 raised to minus 4 now after getting the lateral strain I can say that also lateral strain is equal to change in diameter upon the original diameter so therefore change in diameter will be lateral strain into original diameter so that is 1.787 into 10 raised to minus 4 into the original diameter which is 20 and hence my answer comes out to be 3.575 into 10 raised to minus 3 mm here as we can see that from the diagram of the rod it is clear that length increases diameter decreases so when I am getting this deflection of length there is increase in the length and here the diameter is reduced so there is decrease in the diameter so if we see in the problem there were two things which we have to find out change in length the answer is 2.86 mm so that we have calculated for the given condition next change in diameter which is 3.575 into 10 raised to minus 3 mm that is decrease in the diameter and once we have found out both the values we can say that the problem is completed